Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to make this intro very quick because the whole house is awake and the doggies are moving and hubby's doing things. So I thought I would come on and catch up on my Project Life 2023. This page is all ready to go and I pulled some DIY embellishments and some die cuts from an old Citrus Twist pack. These, This one is an alley, no, what is this one? Pink Fresh maybe? And Pink Fresh. Um, and some alphas and I did my journaling off camera, so I will put you on fast forward while I throw this page together. Oh, friends, I am very ready to have my 2023 album done. Um, I've been using a lot of my stash lately and realizing, I, th I think I've said it pretty much in every video, how much paper I have. So I'm really hoping 2024 I'll be able to stick to my goal and not buy any more supplies. Um, I really want to work through some of this because my craft room is small and it's very well organized, but I'm realizing that it might be time to purge some things because um, I have so much. So stay tuned. There may be a craft room reorganization, uh, renovation, not renovation, but I may add some furniture to my space. Um, stay tuned for that. So I am just gluing down uh, these die cuts off camera. I did my typing on my uh, typewriter and all I did was I took this little die cut and I traced it in pencil and then when I was typing I was able to kind of work around it and then went back and erased the lines but I have a we are memory keepers typewriter and boy is it fussy it may just end up uh, sitting there for a while because I have some uh, perfectionist issues and I find that when I type on it, it, it doesn't always behave the way that my computer would when I'm typing. And we recently had to replace a laptop and now the laptop is working much better. So I may just transition back to doing my journaling on the computer. We'll see. I guess the good side of having a typewriter is you can do what I did here and like trace the uh, trace the die cut and work around it. So I'm not ready to get rid of my typewriter just yet because it was um, something I bought, I think, in the last two years. And I haven't used it every time, but I have used it enough that I'm not quite ready to part with that yet. So you can see here I'm just using one of my DIY branding strips, um, banners, I guess. And I'll be putting the flower die cut on top. I seem to gravitate towards that style of uh, title card. I like to have a line, whether it's washi tape or something like that, or branding strip, and then a die cut, and then my title. That seems to be my, my recipe. So yeah, I'm thinking my 2024 kit, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go back to my rainbow kit, stick with my Maggie Holmes, or break out something totally different. Not entirely sure yet. I was looking through my drawers and uh, rediscovered my Allie Edwards uh, leftover cards and stamps and die cuts and some of those things. So I was toying with the idea of um, using those too. We'll see. I think I'll have to pull everything out and really assess what I have and what I want to use. I like the Allie Edwards kits, but I find they're very, I don't know. I think that the 
the graphic, the graphics and like the style of writing is just not my style anymore. So I think that's a big part of why I haven't used them in a long time. I think uh, Citrus Twist is more my speed or I found a couple of other cards in my stash and I can't remember if they were just from a cut apart or what, but I also have some Kelly Perky um, digital stamps that I used a few years ago to make my own journaling cards and I've used my Cricut. I've used all kinds of things stamps, you name it. And I like to make some of my own pieces that go on my pages. So it might be time to really purge some of the things in my collection. We shall see. I think the purge will probably come uh, with the craft room reorganization. The danger of having a craft room with storage is that you tend to forget what you have and so you end up buying more things and while they're different than what you have it means that you don't use what's already in your space so I'm realizing that's the case with me stay tuned we shall see what happens all right week 47 all done I'm going to catch up, hopefully, this week. We'll see how we go. All right, friends, as always, thanks for coming to hang out with me, and I will see you next video. Bye for now.